Football is as much of a team sport as any, but during the offseason, the players often part ways. Yeah, that's not the case at Fruitport High School, though. Our Pay It Forward campaign continues tonight with a team uh, and a community building a better future. Fox 17's Tara Miller joins us with the story. Hey guys, it's sort of like that famous line from Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. But in the case of the Fruitport football team, if you come to them, they will build it. It started as something small and has turned into something much bigger than anyone ever expected. Yeah, this way with a ramp, I can just do it all by myself. Get this up to the is how Jeff Newmeyer starts his days. Jeff, a 2001 Fruitport High School graduate, was paralyzed from the waist down three years ago after he fell from a tree stand while hunting. I knew as soon as I hit the ground that I was paralyzed because I tried to roll or I tried to get up or whatever, and I knew, and, and the best way I can explain it is from my waist down, my legs were just a fuzz. I guess you could, like, static. Jeff spent five days in the ICU at Spectrum Hospital, then another five weeks at Mary Freebed Hospital, recovering from surgery after his accident. Jeff's life changed in a matter of seconds, and no sooner did his community come together to make the transition smoother than he could have ever expected. I was pretty surprised, and sometimes you don't, I guess, you, you can't come up with the words of, of thanks, you know, how much it really means to you when, when all of a sudden these people that, I mean, he went to school with, he was a teacher, he was a coach, but all of a sudden they're coming over to help out. I mean, you just, I guess, you just, you're kind of shocked how fast people come together, especially in such a small town like this, and everybody in the entire town, I mean, everybody helped, everybody did anything they could do, they were over to help out with it. Thank you. Steve Wilson knows his football. He's been coaching at Fruitport High School for 22 years. He's been building wheelchair ramps for the last 15. Coach Wilson joined up with Don Wood, director at Love Incorporated in Muskegon to help those in need. Each summer, Coach Wilson asks his players to donate their time to workouts and training, but also to giving back. Generations of Trojan football players have helped build these wheelchair ramps, from a young man in Muskegon paralyzed from a gunshot wound, to former players in need, and the elderly in the community, like Edith Branion. I miss being able to get out and do my volunteer jobs. At 81 years old, she's had her share of health scares, a couple strokes, and Edith lost her foot as a result of complications from diabetes. With a prosthetic leg, Edith was unable to drive and couldn't even get out of the house until the Fruitport football team showed up. Oh my goodness, I'd probably be pretty much homebound. <laughs> they did a very good job and they were good boys. They come out here and they started right in and built the ramp. They had it all done in one day and very good. One small project turned into a couple ramps each summer, year after year. The team even builds the ramps year round if they have to. We had to clear the snow out of the way to get down to the ground so we could dig holes. And um, it, we, you know, we did, there's been needs that it happened right now. And uh, what's been amazing is when I've asked for volunteers, I always have more than I need. The football players have come to appreciate the project as much as those they do it for. It's not seen as a sacrifice of a full Saturday or time away from friends but as a learning process and a chance to come together for something bigger than football. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. It's just, it's just a thing that you look back and be like, oh yeah, I, I helped that person out, I did that for them. It's just a thing that you'll be able to keep in the back of your mind and you'll be very proud of. You get up and sometimes it's cold out, like when we built my grandpa's, there was about a foot and a half of snow on the ground, so it was cold and you get that feeling like, I'm going to help somebody today and it's going to feel good and then well, by the time it's done and you see their face, it's, I did good. I feel, I feel good. I can never say thanks enough and I told him from then I'd never give up, so just keep going. Over the last 15 years, the Trojans have built about 70 wheelchair ramps for those in need in West Michigan. They are always accepting donations for lumber and nails, things like that, guys. Also good news, Jeff Newmeyer, who you saw in the story there, he and his wife Stacy expecting their first child oh, this June. Oh, Sorry. congratulations to them. 70. 70. Wow. 70 wheelchair ramps. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Huge. Yeah. And all the labor, of course, is free. Sometimes people can pay for it on their own. Sometimes donations are just handed out from who you knows. You think about it this time of year, you know, it helps. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, winter's coming on. you got mm -hmm. railings and it really makes it accessible. Yeah, especially for, for the elderly like Edith, you know, times are tough. You know, that extra money, the extra labor always helps. Yeah. Great. Tara, thanks. Mm -hmm. Great story. Thanks.